In this video, we will learn how to set up a new device. Open the module menu and scroll down to find the Devices option. Now, click again to go to the main Devices page. This report lists all the devices that have already been added to the vault. You can add a new one in the upper right corner. This is the pop-up window to set up a new device. First, we have to fill in either the IP hostname or URL, that is, the address the vault can use to connect to this device. Then, name your device. This is how your device will be known in the vault. Choose a tenant, as well as a device type, and device vendor. Select a product type and finally the site. We can also add domain settings if we want as well as tags that help us identify this device. Moving on to the second tab, here we can find the connectivity settings. This is where we select how we want the vault to connect to this device. The system will automatically populate the port field according to the connectivity type you choose, but you can customize it freely. Click the Add button to include this information to the device settings and test it to make sure everything is working smoothly. If I choose the wrong connectivity type, you see I get an error message. You can remove any unsuccessful connections, leaving only those that actually work. Now, in additional settings, select the device's criticality and add the settings for your remote sessions. We can add a new expression for login and select its connectivity type, expected expression, and fill in value. After filling in all the fields and making sure there were no typos, save these settings. Wait for the confirmation message saying your settings have been successfully saved and your new device will have been added to the list. Here it is. You can also add a new device by clicking the quick menu icon at the top, which will take you straight to the pop-up window we used in this video.